What is going on, everybody? We're back again for another episode of Chapel's Concert Chronicles. First of all, I want to apologize for this blinding light right here in the middle. I'm trying to... I'm doing my bath from it. <laughs> can't, do, can't do that. We might think of something bad. <laughs> I said it added to the ambiance. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. Anyways, we are here in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Red Hat Amphitheater in the Red Hat parking garage. So I can't even say garage. I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're here to see one of... Uh, our favorite bands. Uh, been I've been into this band since probably 99, 2000 era uh, of this band. And uh, that is Queens of the Stone Age. Oh, man. Uh, very excited. We, we came down to see them last year. This is... Uh, the show got canceled because of a really bad thunderstorm. And when, when, when it's lightning outside, they, they don't tend to let you uh, play electrical instruments outside. So uh, so we, we had to miss them last year. And we were very angry. Very angry. Very angry because we got all the way down here. It took forever to get to Raleigh. Traffic was terrible. We finally get here. We're, we're in the parking garage and we're waiting because it is raining. But then, like I said, the... A storm ended, but they still canceled the show. So it felt like driving to Raleigh just to spend the night in a hotel and come back. But yeah. now it's redemption time. And it's beautiful weather. It's hot. Very, very yeah, hot. Very hot. But uh, yeah, I'll take this over uh, a lightning storm uh, oh, any yeah, day. So, sure. but Queens of the Stone Age, Josh Homie, uh, if there's any uh, anybody watching this who's an old school like Stoner Rock fan, he was in Caius. Back in the day, uh, but uh, Queens has been his baby for a very long time, and uh, I'm a huge fan. Uh, and I've seen him live a few times. Uh, we've seen him live together just once at the Carolina Rebellion. Uh, so this is uh, I, I I I know it's still like a pavilion, but it it'll still be a better than. Oh yeah, it's a lot smaller. Too. A lot it's smaller, like, yeah. You know, a smaller amphitheater. So yeah, this is a very very excited. Uh, I, I know we've all got songs we want to hear. Uh, they have a pretty massive catalog by now. Uh, and uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm just ready to go in. Uh, yes. So uh, if uh, y'all are ready, uh, let's uh, go ahead now and we'll see you there.
what an amazing show that was. Holy shit. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, that stage setup with the light show was was pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, we waited till the next day to even do an outro for this. So <laughs> it was... We were so wore out by the end of this show, getting out of there in Raleigh. It was, it was, it was amazing. What a nice little spot the Red Hat Amphitheater is too. Just nestled downtown Raleigh, and uh, I took a few. You'll see in the video. I, you know, I, I took some shots looking around the area. It's just really, really nice. Really, really nice place. Uh, but um, what can I say uh, before we get into Queens? Talk about. Uh, Royal Blood was that what they were called? Royal mm -hmm. Blood. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know much about them, but I remember hearing we'd heard people talking. Uh, like one guy missed Royal Blood, and he was like, "Man, I'd come see Royal Blood, but they already played." And we were like, "Huh?" <laughs> because he was like standing outside where the uh, little smoking area is, and there was uh, it was near the road, and this guy was walking by and just chit chatting. And he was like, "He knew Royal Blood," but I was like, "How does this guy know Royal Blood?" And I don't know who this band is. I had to look into them. Uh, really killer band live. They 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 had a they, they were perfect for Queens. I think the perfect type of band to set up for Queens of the Stone Age. Their brand uh, two English guys who who just do uh, their own brand of rock and roll. And hey, if it works, it works. Uh, so uh, we'll definitely check out some more of them. Uh, but Queens of the Stone Age. Oh my God! Like I said, the light show was just amazing. Uh, really dug that because the last time we seen them uh, they had some crazy things on stage that moved back and forth like uh, you know it went like a wacky waving flavor arm tube person but it was <laughs> like it was like a lot that would go they can knock it and move it back and forth so uh, you know this was definitely an upgrade to that I, I love their whole stage setup and, and the lights and, and everything and they played everything you want if you're a longtime fan you hear all the old songs you wanted to hear. Uh, the only one we didn't hear I wanted to hear was uh, Feel Good Hit of the Summer. That would have been nice. But uh, other than that, I heard every song I kind of wanted to hear, you know. And even off the new album, uh, New Times Roman. Uh, a few songs from that. Is that what it's, it, yeah, it's called? It's not... It's a weird play on words. It's like Lady Chapel's looking at me like, is that the name of the album? I know. I was like... I know. I was like, have I always read it wrong? Yeah. New... Uh, is it, it? It's not New Roman Times. It's I new, thought it was Times New Roman. Times New. Is that what it is? Times New Roman. Okay. See, I'm getting corrected here. Okay. All right. So, I'm not too crazy. I just knew it was a weird. You know. But anyways, <laughs> the uh, they played they played songs we wanted to hear from that album. I mean, it's it was good. Everything was great. The the band was tight. Uh, Josh Homme, uh cracked some jokes. You know, in between songs and stuff. He was he was hilarious. Uh, and um, I don't know what else to say, but uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the show, and uh, do yourselves a favor: go out there and find you some good music.